Okay, so uh, can you hear me? Yes, I guess so. So user sentiment reporting, uh, basically facilitating user feedback on code. Uh, right now, we have various places and in those uh, various places, uh, we have a uh, lot of feedback, uh, be that in a, in a form of a topic, thread, comment, uh, report or questions. Uh, but there is, a, there is currently some missing link or, or a link that we would like to reinforce, which is uh, we would like to know uh, the, the feedback versus satisfaction, and we would like to know what uh, what how we are doing with our users. Yeah, so we are able to prioritize our work. Uh, ideally, to pinpoint uh, the WSD hash that is connected to that specific feedback, so we can work on, let's say, even you know, by section finding some some bugs that were lingering ring around. Uh, make it easier to send notes without signing up for any uh, platform. Basically, uh, a way to do this uh, within the app. And uh, a lot uh, of this wouldn't be uh, possible without Henry because all the, all the backend uh, related work uh, was done by Henry Castro. The solution here uh, was to uh, show a new dialogue, but that dialogue uh, shouldn't be shown while others uh, are visible yeah basically to avoid user frustra frustration that would of course uh, influence the feedback that they would send us uh, so we don't want to do that and we would also we also wanted to make it possible to just enable and disable it uh, very easily um, and even more important that it would be ideal if that if the contents of that dialogue wouldn't be tied to the code version, meaning that that the contents of that of that dialogue would come from outside of code. So we are able to iterate, send updates over the air without the need of uh, additional updates or even additional uh, storage uh, from the integrator side, for example. Uh, you know, so we are able even to change dialogue on the holidays. No, I'm joking, but basically, so we have greater flexibility. But so how we do that, uh, how how they would turn on this? So there is there is this new uh, variable, this enable feedback, that we can switch that to true uh, by adding uh, the, the enable feedback uh, flag to our configure. And since uh, we wanted to have this content coming uh, outside, give us a greater flexibility, adding this with feedback, with feedback location uh, and the instance where we have uh, our Django server. That Django server is nothing more than uh, an instance uh, where we, we just have the content of that dialogue and where we save that feedback in a database where, when, the, when the user chooses to send. Of course, all of this is optional, like the enabling this, this variable is optional and even sending the feedback is optional. Here is an example uh, of two records in that specific database. You see that one user has uh, some feedback in terms of the de description uh, and with a rating, other user didn't choose not to write nothing, even not an email, nothing, just, just a rating. So it's also good because we, we get the feedback we, I mean, we get the, the rating and we can see, again, the distinction between satisfaction and the, the feedback that is sent. Um, more important is that each of these records are tied to the version hash. So this WSD hash, so we, we can know specifically which version of Collabora Online they are, uh, they are talking about when they talk uh, when they say, whoa, now everything is super fast or the opposite. Now I see a lot of glitches around this or that element. Uh, so this is how it looks. As you can see, uh, everything, uh, this whole dialogue is optional. So you can choose to not show ever again or later. Uh, 
um, and even the fields, description and email, everything, everything is optional. And if you, you can still send uh, the stars, the rating just by interacting with those stars. Um, so, uh, yes, we, we wanted to be sure that this wouldn't be a nuisance. So does the do not show again, is that present? Uh, we also wanted to add visual cues, so there was a lot of, uh, you know, fiddling and, and improving on all the different status on over, the submit button automatically appears, enable when, when the stars are filled, all these little things that it's, it's little things, but are hope, hopefully are, are little things that welcome the interaction, welcome the feedback and that the effort of that interaction at the end of the day is, is seen by the user as minimal so they want to 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 play with uh the nice thing about this dialogue is that even though it's let's be honest it's actually an iframe that we present as a dialogue and then it, here it comes the content from that the, the django instance but even though it, it works like this we are able to pass uh, themable stuff. So, you know, like the, the title is themable, so it's already getting the color of, of the theme. Uh, we are also passing, by the way, if this is a mobile or not um, device. So we are, we are able to adjust the dialogue, how the dialogue appears, you will see in a second. And we are even passing, uh, as, I, as I said before, the, the, the version. So uh, when we are uh, in the presence of a mo mobile device, here, here you have it, it automatically adapts to your uh, cell phone. Uh, and since we are passing that, uh, my idea, my to-do would be, uh, and I'd like, when I have time, I would like to add one more field in that uh, database. So we are able to see, even if that feedback comes, you know, from a desktop, from a tablet, from a mobile, and it's really nice. Um, and it's also nice because the users that use and love our respons responsive mode, meaning using Collabra Online in these devices, but uh, without using the app from Android or the app from uh, Apple, just using the browser, they are not blocked. They can still uh, send feedback, and that's the, and that's pretty nice, I think. Um, and they don't need to sign up anywhere, they, they can just send. And it allows uh, a lot of more control and flexibility on our side. Because imagine if if we know that in one, spe one specific version, uh, we have a huge revamp of an element, let's say, guess what, sidebar or something like this, we might even we might even change the content of this dialogue to have a specific question to have a specific uh, request uh, so we are able uh, hopefully to improve uh, the overall user experience and the way we even uh, hunt uh, some of these glitches or some of these uh, bugs uh, that uh, sometimes uh, get um, you know, get forgotten because there's some small detail and you just, we just realize after a while. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, I think I have one minute and 50 seconds left, uh, but I would just uh, call, uh, call your attention to all these links, um, you know, how to, uh, how to do your first pull request. Uh, all the various communication channels and as well uh, how to start with the easy hacks uh, you know just navigate through our community website and we we are i'm going actually to have a talk on our community website and how even contribute to that community website uh, so i hope that was uh, clear <laughs>